The Jockey Club Gold Cup offers an intriguing matchup of some top three-year-olds taking on older horses for the first time in the $1 million affair at Belmont Park. The winner earns an automatic entry into the Breeders' Cup Classic. Jimmy Jerkin saddles a pair of highly accomplished three-year-olds. His horses, V.E. Day and Wicked Strong, ran 1-2 in the Mid-Suburb Derby, the Travers Stakes. A stirring drive in the stretch had the two Colts noses apart at the finish. Coming to the final 16th, it is still Wicked Strong, but here comes V.E. Day with a final try. Who will win the Travers? It will be too close to call! V.E. Day is a late developing Colt who didn't break his maiden until the week following the Kentucky Derby. However, since finding his first winner's circle, V.E. Day has rattled off four straight victories, which includes the Travers in his last start. I like V.E. Day. This is a horse whose first start on a fast dirt track was in the Curlin Stakes on July 25th. He showed guts. He won that race from off the pace by a head. Obviously improved big time in winning the grade one Travers by a nose at 19 to one in his subsequent start. He's the now horse. He's the late developing three-year-old. He has the ceiling. He's getting better each and every start. And I think with all the other big name horses in the Gold Cup, He's going to be a price once again. Wicked Strong is Jerkin's higher profile horse. He won the Wood Memorial this spring, finished fourth place in the Kentucky Derby and Belmont Stakes before winning the Jim Dandy and running second in the aforementioned Travers. Wicked Strong has clearly been a better horse from the middle of the summer since the addition of blinkers after Jimmy Jerkins made that decision before the Jim Dandy. His last defeat in the Travis, I think, can be put down to a ride that was questionable. He was close to the pace. He made a big middle move too early and hit the front too soon and was collared by his stable mate, V.E. Day. Look for a different trip in the Jockey Club and a return to Belmont Park. I think puts Wicked Strong back in the winner's circle. Totalist between horses, California grown, laboring late. Here's the wire, and it's a photo finish that goes to Tonalist. Since winning the Belmont Stakes in his fifth start, Tonalist has finished second to Wicked Strong in the Jim Dandy and third behind V.E. Day and Wicked Strong in the Travers. Tonalist, the son of Tappet, obviously the biggest key for him is getting back to the racetrack where he had his biggest win. He won the Belmont Stakes, now in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Um, he's getting back to Belmont Park, where I think the long sweeping turns and his grinding style will suit him to that racetrack like it did on that day in June. It took a while for Moreno to get cranked up for his four-year-old season, but following his 12th place finish in the Met Mile, this son of Go Zapper has a victory and two runner-up finishes. Two starts back, he defeated It's My Lucky Day and will take charge in the Whitney. A hundred yards from home, and it's Moreno. Moreno to win the Whitney and a wire-to-wire -wire score. And that's the TVG inside track for the Jockey Club Gold Cup.